what is going on everybody we are here for week 12 of the fixed tcr series track guides this week we're at spa um yeah lots of fun here in this car uh so we'll kick straight off into a walkthrough lap and then give you a hot lap at the end of the session so as you're coming down the front straight you'll be in fourth gear you're looking just for the 100 meter board nice big brake application back to second gear now when you start to turn the car in you want to turn in just after the tire wall on the left hand side and once you turn the car in you want to be real patient get the car to rotate right into the wall and then once you get to that wall part and the curb just ends on the inside that's when you pick the throttle up the car's going to sort of torque steer a little bit out of the corner but you need to stay in it to carry all the speed down the hill up through the gears Up to fifth. All right, as you're coming down the hill, you want to use the, the traffic light flag stand starters box, I guess you could say, for downhill endurance layout. From that point there, you want to turn the car in, put two wheels as far over the curb as possible, and then once you sort of get to there's no real marker on the point right but I like to sort of run it a little bit deeper in wider and then turn the car in at the corner so about this point here sort of once I'm in line with these um, sort of billboards that are on the fence not up above the grandstand but the first lot once I'm sort of drive view with the first one then I start to turn the car at the corner stay as close to this curb as possible once you get to the end of the curve, the car can then go straight, and then you'll see that you'll use curb, but you won't get the off track. You let the car track out to the edge of the road. Stay tight through here. And then once you come off here, then you can start drifting yourself back towards the left-hand side to set up for the braking zone at the end of the back straight. Nice big brake application at the start of the curb. Back to third turn into the end of the curb on the left use two wheels over the curb there now you sort of you want to sacrifice a little bit here but you still want to diagonal in at the corner once you diagonal in you sacrifice a lot mid corner so that when you come off the corner you're coming off at this angle you're not coming off over at the curb on the right hand side because all you've got to do then is fight to get the car back to the left to go right again so if you sacrifice a little bit to make sure you come off the curb on this side of the circuit then once you get to this point here there's a little yellow guide post on the fence you'll see directly you'll just see the side of it there that's where I start to turn the car at the corner two wheels up on the curb the car's going to push and slide the whole way over the back of the curb that's fine you can use all that area there down the hill you go break at the start of the curb here back to second gear you want to diamond the car in so apex in let the car drift a little bit wide on the brake to trail the nose around so it rotates and then pick the throttle up clip the apex on the way out run to sort of half track here and then start to set yourself up back on the right hand side now this one's a bit of a tricky one there's no real brake marker um, the car tends to move around a lot in the rear as well so you've got and on cold tires you'll have a heap of understeer as well so finding that marker is pretty um, sort of it moves quite a lot here depending on your exit out of the little bowl there's a few little aspects of it but what I can tell you is if we just roll to this point here right the start of the fence off behind the barrier that is where I turn the car in at the corner so once you get to that fence line you can turn the car in at the corner get the car up over the curb on two wheels let the car run wide use two tires over the curb but that's as far as you can go down the hill we go fourth gear just before the traffic light brake turn in at the end of the curb on the right let the car rotate round a little bit of tire on the curb it'll push the car wide and then once you get to this point continue on get the car in it's another double apex 
nice and tight through here. Under the sign, under the Allianz Bridge, break, back to third. Two wheels on the kerb, sacrifice a little bit of exit speed so you can rotate the car in again, so you can pick up the throttle nice and aggressively out of this corner, run it right to the edge of the kerb, break at the start of the kerb, back to third gear, two wheels over the kerb, and then let the car drift out. Up to fourth, just a tiny little lift. You're probably lifting about 15, 20% on the throttle, just to get the car to rotate in, and then carry the speed through, use all the track on the exit. Up through the gears, you'll get to six gear as you're coming up through here. I stay to the right hand side till I get to the DHL bridge. I start to rotate the car at the corner. Get close to the white line, then let the car drift right out to the edge of the road. This one's a bit unique. I just tap the brake at the green, the start of the green paint, just to get the nose to start to turn. And then I've just picked the throttle up and let the car slide from that point onwards. So six gear through here get close to the curb the car's going to slide right out to the edge of the road up through the gears for one last time last big brake marker brake just after the 150 as you're coming into the corner you want to sort of diagonal the car from the in uh, from the right hand side to the left hand side you want to set yourself up as close to the kerb as possible. Try not to grab the kerb. I find braking in this car, if you brake on a kerb, it tends to upset the balance of the car quite a lot. So you want to try and get as close to that edge of that road without actually being on the kerb. Then when you turn the car in, in second gear, you want to sacrifice a little bit of exit speed and set yourself up more on the right hand side. So then you're opening the corner. Once you get to the white line, turn the car at the corner get the car to rotate right in on the apex and then open that steering up as quick as possible and get to full throttle and there you go guys that is your walkthrough lap of spa in the tcr car um we'll give you a hot lap now and uh good luck for your last week of racing and we look forward to seeing you in season three thanks guys
back, guys. This is a lap as far in the TCR car. Good luck for your week of racing.